nothing's easy. Nothing is easy until you do it. Once you do it, that's understandably easier. Because so I am I am rookie as rookie everything here, but I'm very persistent. It is is persistence and respectful and just be honest. Tell everything. Transparent. I've been the most transparent with everybody and every everybody I partner up with this event business as partners of of agents, artists, or anything like that, moving, you know? We are here for the long run. We're not here for the short term. So that's some sacrifice on my end, on the beginning, to build for the future. So nothing's easy, but it's all fearful. But you have to, once you take it forward, on the on the fear then it's it's easier and you build your relationships it's easier to work with people and then they build the repertoire together and then things happen a little faster and i wouldn't say easier because nothing's easy now when you're trying to set up a event from people around the world we're a hundred and ten percent we're going this there wasn't a doubt in my mind that we're going to have an event this year. Not a doubt. I mean, it didn't get from May to August 5th or whatever, beginning of August or anything like that. Not, you know, not, not anything. And then it just turned hard the beginning of August. You know, and I don't know if this was, a, this was a, a factor of one of the things for Dak Jamma, you know, we had some other situations that happened there too, but it's interesting how that turned almost overnight. And now we're in this world, which Dak Jam has been canceled for what, almost 50 days now? Since the day we announced the canceling, it is so different today than it was the first day of Dak Jam would be. It was, it's unbelievable. I think the energy was great. Like we were running 110 miles an hour every single day. So we started working pretty much every day, just grinding away, and eventually I had to go back to Georgia. So while they were here working, I was down in Georgia, and I was working remotely. Um, so I would be hopping on FaceTime calls every week, uh, having meetings, just talking about everything that was happening, trying to do my part from there. Does your flag say seek discomfort? Yeah. Fantastic. Sorry, so side, I side note, but I, yeah. I've always said to my students, if, you're, if you aren't scared, it's not worth doing. I mean, at times it's hard because we have like shows that are together, Johnny and Gina, we had to film completely remotely which was definitely an interesting experience. I've never done anything like that, where we're sending the footage across the country um, and editing these two clips together from different locations, which was cool. I mean, it felt like we had a real news show there for a while. Oh, hello? Hello? Gina, where did you send me? What do you mean, where did I send Gina, you? Where, where am I, Gina? I don't know, if you don't know where you are, then I don't know how to help you. Gina. What? All I got is this cameraman who keeps looking at me like I'm crazy. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You are crazy. And with that, do you even have a studio audience? No. no you have a cameraman. <laughs> It was still cool to do that and have that experience. We were working pretty tireless, tirelessly while I was, you know, still trying to do classes and everything, but um, wanted to give it my all while I was down in Georgia. And I feel like it worked out better than I expected it to. I was a little nervous about it going into it. I'm like, I don't want to let my work slip while I'm down there, obviously, but 
Uh, I also want to experience life and school and hang out with my friends. So it was finding that balance while I was down there that was really important to me. Um, but then eventually I graduated and then came back here. And that's when we were really in go mode. Alexa, are all those riders signed that I gave you? I can go check. The paper ones? I have no idea about the check. <laughs> It's a blessing in disguise that we're going to have two cancel events in a row in my mind and be able to roll into 2022 with a better handle of how North America works. Stressful, but a lot of the team kind of thrives on that pressure stress, if that makes any sense. like. We feel like we're useful, we feel like we're valued, and we were excited. I mean, we were doing things. We built a festival in 30 freaking days, unbeknownst to many of the public, because we rolled a lot with the unknown of if the artists are going to be able to play, you know, what's going on with other festivals, you know, and then Delta variant happens. Like, there was just a lot of components that we're trying to put together and piece ourselves and figure it out, but trying to keep it all going. I mean, we had everything planned out. The direction I'm taking. Yeah. So are you cool with that direction? No, I see your direction. Cool. I understand that direction. Sweet. Time to organize that direction. Correct. The, like Mike has said, marketing just got a lot bigger than, than we were expecting. Which is a good thing. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, not sad about this. I feel like that was climbing up the hill to the peak um, of the stress, the anxiety, and the, the excitement, all of it, just all the emotions were coming at us and we were climbing up to the peak. Um, and we were working with people from all over the world. And, you know, Mike came to us almost every day and he was like, we got this artist. I'm talking to these these guys. I'm thinking maybe these guys would be good for our lineup. So every day it was like I don't know what I'm gonna walk into that into the office and what I'm gonna hear that day. I don't know what the emotions are gonna be. Is it ha good news? Sad news? Like what is it? Finally, they're in. Just gotta send them a little bit more money and they're good to go. Well, that's exciting. That's everybody. It's everybody. So now we gotta wait. Now I got to. Monday afternoon at noon is when the festival stage festival stage artists have a chance to reply to all the offers out there. There we go. There we go. So we're right on track for June 27th. We are going for sure. Love it. Love it. Nice job. For sure. Yay. Oh. Feel good? I hate that phone now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was excited. It was cool to see uh, Mike and his dreams coming true. Um, I'll never forget when he signed the first. Um, oh, <laughs> this is stupid. I'll never forget when he signed the first contract, and I was just like, "Oh my God, I'm so proud of you!" Like that is awesome. You know, you're you're accomplishing your goals and your dreams through all of this adversity. And this is, I don't know if we realize the, the scope that we were building it as well. Um, you know, it was, uh, it was cool and exciting. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh shit, we have to step up our game because these are different level people that we're gonna now have to communicate to. And we don't want to look like some of the black guys that North Dakota has given out to the music industry. What are you doing? Just signing some contracts. Very first one here. First one first for what? First contract signed for Dak Jam. Probably the top two band I like at Dak Jam. Are you excited? Oh, very excited. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. How many contracts do you sign them? Oh, 
contracts only two today. So it's sending out bids. Well, I'm signing two contracts today. Okay. And I'm sending out seven binders, 100% binders to you will see what's coming. No one knows what's coming, do they? Not a clue. Not a clue. I think they have no idea. It's going to be great. No idea. Anything else to say on it's this gonna, big day? It's going to be a fun ride. It's going to be a fun ride. That's for sure. So, I mean, it was really keeping us all on our toes, I feel like, and uh, really exciting and different. It was new for me, and I feel like everybody here just had this whole new experience that I don't know if we were really sure what we were getting into. We knew that this is where the route we wanted to go, but it felt like, holy crap, this is happening right now. Phone calls with agents and things like that, some of the coolest experiences, and it was all just leading up to this bigger experience that we were so excited for.